Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me again. My name is Lizzie, and if you've been watching my previous videos, I've been doing a massive uh, collection kind of series where I'm just showing you um, products in my makeup collection and doing some of them with some pretty good declutters going on. So today I figured I will show you this huge pile of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I already did two videos of the smaller eyeshadow palettes and I did declutter some of those. Um, but I had mentioned in that, uh, in those videos that the larger eyeshadow palettes here, I probably won't be decluttering as much. Um, maybe just, you know, a couple here and there. So this I'm not going to title as a declutter. It's just kind of the collection of my larger palettes. Um, you know, there's some smaller palettes in here. It's just, pulling everything out from my drawers. So this is the rest of my eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to go through with you. It probably will be split up into two videos because it's just way too many to go through. I'll make it a couple hours long and we don't want to have you be bored or anything like that. So this will probably be split into two and they'll probably still be pretty long videos anyway. But yes, thanks so much for watching and I just wanted to kind of go through this collection here. Um, I still have a few more palettes that I will be doing a separate video on. Those are mostly my untouchable palettes and smaller ones here. There's Pippa right there in the corner <laughs> trying to go outside. I have my mug of tea sitting there because it is pretty cold here in Arizona and my little pineapple mug, which I love anything pineapples. Um, so unfortunately, I wanted to do the declutter of my highlighters, but the sun is not out today. It's pretty gray and dreary, and I just feel like it's so much better to swatch and look at highlighters in the natural sunlight. So that, unfortunately, I will have to put off until the sun comes back out. So that's why I figured this collection video of my eyeshadow palettes would be a good one to film today. So sit back, get something to drink and eat, and let's go through my eyeshadow palettes. Thanks. Okay, everybody, let's start going through this huge pile of eyeshadow palettes. Um, like I had said before, I probably am not going to declutter hardly any. These are the palettes I use, and a lot of them are new and have not been touched. So no judgment, please. I know I have a lot to get through and use up, but I'm just a collector, and this is just one of the my favorite makeup items that I love. So I... Probably will not be decluttering that many. I just wanted to show you the rest of my eyeshadow palettes. So the first one here, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just so gloomy out. But um, here is the Jouer Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Eyeshadows. This is uh, a stunning palette. Um, it was my first Jouer eye, uh, eyeshadow palette that I ever bought. And they're all metallic shades. You get six shades. And the pigment on these is like something I have never seen before from any kind of makeup brand. Let me do some swatches. This will also be kind of like a swatch video. And like I said, it is going to be split up into a couple parts because it will just take way too long. And some of these palettes I haven't touched in a very long time. So let's go ahead and swatch some. Um, let's do bikini here, this pink. So they feel, oh, this actually feels a little rough. Maybe they're drying out. Oh no, that would be so upsetting. Let's do bikini. Let's do tan lines. I, I, I've used this before, but I know I haven't used every shade here. And then let's do Midnight Swim. So let's do these three. Oh, a little bit drier than I remembered, but you know, it has been a while. So that, ooh, they're still very pigmented. See? That is Magic Hour. And bikini's a little lackluster, but it's the pinky champagne. Oh, that one is gorgeous. That gold, so pretty. Yes, I am definitely going to still keep this palette. It's just so pigmented um, and beautiful and just a very high quality palette from Jouer. Um, I did declutter their Springtime in Paris palette um, from one of my previous videos. So that one was super pretty, but I just wasn't getting use out of that one. So yes, that one is my Jouer. This is a Makeup Revolution Fierce as Fire palette. Um, it actually came as a free gift from an Ulta order when I ordered the uh, Emily Edits Makeup Revolution palette. So, you know, this was a very, you know, nice free gift for um, coming with that other palette. 
I have not tried the Makeup Revolution formula, so I don't really know how it compares. But this one I am just going to sell on my Mercari because I haven't touched it. Um, you know, I'm just considering how many palettes I have. <laughs> I should just get this or sell this to somebody else that can use that. So that one I will sell, but like I said, it's not going to be a declutter video. It's just a collection video. This is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Ugh, I just remember like all the hype when this was getting re-released and rebranded or like remarketed um, with the collection of the Sweet Peach. And I just, me and a coworker just were talking about this collection and release nonstop. We just could not wait for it. So of course I bought a few items from this collection when it released. And the Sweet Peach palette is just so adorable with the um, metal tin. And I think the shades are really pretty. Um, you know, it's kind of a neutral palette. I haven't used all the shades in here. And I really, this is a palette I really did want to try to remember to use more this year. So I can uh, give it some more love. Um, I just want to check. This shade, it looks a little hard in the pan here. It's uh, creamed, I'm sure. So it's like a matte brown, but it's still soft. So I think it was just a slight little hard pan there. Um, let's do just peachy. I haven't even touched that shade yet. So there. And I love this green shade here. Bless her heart. And I love the peach smell. It's just... A really pretty collection in my opinion so those are swatches so they're still good and perform well I think that was the first Too Faced palette I ever bought in the tin collection there so I'll show you the other couple I have I never got their chocolate palette chocolate bar semi sweet chocolate any of those I um, passed over those because I already had too many eyeshadow palettes um, like that uh, with those colors. So yes, this Too Faced Sweet Peach, I'm definitely keeping. This is newer that they just released. Sorry, the gingerbread uh, palette. So I think the you know tin packaging for this collection was really cute and holiday-ish. And this is the shade. So I did use this a couple times, um, but yes, I definitely want to use this more, of course, too, this year. Uh, I think the shades are really pretty and the shimmers are gorgeous. So yes, I definitely will definitely be using this, of course, since it's newer. And then the Too Faced Clover palette. I thought the packaging was so cute. I got it mostly because of this packaging. Let me move that one out of the way. <laughs> I got it mostly because of the packaging, but then when I used it, I actually really liked the shades in it. I think it, the shades are very fun. They look kind of, uh, you know, different and like, something you wouldn't really use too often or create a look with, but I really like this palette when I used it in a makeup rotation for a couple weeks. This Best Friend shade, the duochrome kind of blue shift is gorgeous, and you know I really like that turquoise over there and the mustard yellow, so this is such a cute, fun palette. I am so glad I picked that one up. Okay, let's move on to this little thing here. This is the Lorac, um, which one is this? I want to say California, Los Angeles palette. I don't remember what the collection was called. Um, but yeah, I got this palette here. I, you know, really like the packaging. I think I have the blush palette too that came with this collection. So, I mean, I think the shades are really pretty. I like the Lorac formula. It has some very soft kind of neutral shades up here with some shimmers um, down there. I haven't pulled this out in a while but I am going to hold on to it and then maybe I'll decide by the end of this year we'll see uh, this palette the Ciate glitter storm palette I actually just got um, this past Sephora sale I couldn't believe how fast they marked it down since it just came out for the holidays so they marked it down really fast I love the little glitter packaging with the stars it's so cute and I did a get ready with me using this palette um, open it so yeah, they marked it down and then I got an extra 20% off during the Sephora sale. So it has these nine pans um, with these three foil sh glitters at the top um, and these two satin shades and then four mattes. But I have to, oh, this is popping out. It looks like the whole case is about to pop out. Maybe that's why I was on sale. Nope, it's, it's still glued in there. Okay. Uh, 
the glitter shades are super glittery. It is a glitter storm and named that for a reason. Um, I did not like how much kind of fallout I got with the glitter shades. I definitely, but I didn't use a glitter glue. So I think if you use a glitter glue, then uh, it will perform and wear better. But I just kept brushing glitter off my face when I did the application. So definitely need a glitter glue with those three shades. But I think the shades overall are really pretty and kind of those mauvey tones. So I definitely am keeping this for the time being. Uh, here is another palette I got during the Sephora sale. Um, it's the Bobbi Brown Ultraviolet eyeshadow palette. And I think the packaging is really cool. They have another one, I think Infrared. And I was going to get that one. But then when I saw pictures of people who ordered it, and it, the shades just looked completely different than what they showed on online. Um, they just looked more brown and neutral rather than like red warm tones it was just completely like thrown off by what the actual product looked like but this one i could not wait to get because i just thought these shades were super pretty and of course the whole purple trend was um happening this past fall and i think bobby brown really upped their game with their shadow formula and quality um i got rid of a couple of their palettes that i had in my smaller eyeshadow collection declutter because the shades were just chalky and not pigmented and very powdery and I think now um, two or three years later their formula has been vamped up and just a lot a lot better and performs a lot better so this one I am definitely keeping for use this year so I'm doing a 2019 low buy um, as you can tell there's no reason to be buying so much makeup compared to what I have in my collection so Definitely hope to get more use out of these eyeshadow palettes now. This is the Lorac Unzipped Desert Palette. Um, they have three, and I have all three of these that came out with this collection. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted the most, and I thought all three of them were beautiful, so I wanted to get all three. Um, but yeah, I really like these palettes. I like how they're smaller. You have 10 shades, and I think um, you know it's just a really nice, easy go-to palette for travel and the shade selections that they did. This is the um, Desert Sunset is a really great theme and uh, little collection that they released there. So I'm keeping those. This one here is the Mountain Sunset. So this one has some cooler tones. I really like the green and the shimmery um, blue gray down there at the bottom. So um, yeah, you could tell I've used this a few times. And the last one they released is Ocean Sunset. I think the packaging is really cute too. Um, and these have some of your kind of slightly warmer pinky tones, um, just like an Ocean Sunset. So I think their quality is really great. So of course I will keep those. This is the Dose of Colors I Love Sarah E um, eyeshadow palette. I It took me a while to finally buy this. I think I bought it towards... Uh, beginning of fall um, during the Ulta, during some Ulta sale. So I was like, well, I might as well get it um, with the 20% off. And I think I used points on it, so it was overall free for me. I really like the packaging with the palm leaves. Um, and I just thought, you know, at first I wasn't going to get this palette because I didn't think it was anything like standout or that great. And, and just not something I really needed right at the moment. But then when I saw swatches of this, I was blown away. So I actually um, showed swatches when I did a Ulta haul video. So this palette is really gorgeous. And I haven't used it yet in my eyes, but I will definitely be doing some looks with this. Um, I think it would have been a great uh, New Year's Eve look as well. Um, I didn't go out for New Year's Eve, so I did not do any makeup that day. But yeah, I think the black... Um, glitter shade or the green would have been a really stunning New Year's Eve look. Some of the glitter just fall into that pan. But yeah, this was a really good um, palette that I Love Sarah E came out with. I have not checked out any of her, you know, social media, but she does those collabs. So thought it was a really good one with Dose of Colors. So this is the Stila Eyes Are the Window to the soul no eyes are the window shadow palette <laughs> and the uh, spirit is this palette's um theme so i really love stila eyeshadows i got this 
on sale, but I haven't even touched it yet. Um, I do have a couple of these as singles because uh, when I first used to do makeup, my early makeup days, I would just use either a Stila single eyeshadow all over my eye eyelid or a Urban Decay single shadow all over my eyelid. So I didn't use anything else. I was just hooked on two specific shades. The Stila was the shade La Douce, which is a golden khaki color, olive color. And Urban Decay was, I want to say, Baked Cowboy or Stray Dog? I don't remember. But yeah, <laughs> so I only used those. And so when I saw this little palette by Stila and how much I love their eyeshadow um, formula, I decided to pick this up. And I haven't even used it. I don't know. Maybe I should sell it because I haven't used it and I just have so many palettes to get through. But it's really pretty. Now, I'm going to hold on to it. This, like I said, this is not a declutter. Here is the Game of Cones Fury of the Oven um, palette by Beauty Bakery. So it's kind of uh, an indie brand that is getting more recognition and is now being sold at Ulta. So I was really happy to see them at Ulta so I could try some of their products here. And this eyeshadow palette I thought was really pretty. One of their most... Um, attractive pieces that I was drawn to. So uh, these shades I think are really fun and can create some really nice looks. I did swatch a few on, um, like I said, another Ulta haul video that I had. So you can always check out swatches on there. But yeah, I do uh, need to use this palette and I can't wait to create some fun looks with some of these pops of colors. I think the formula is really good for beauty for a brand that I haven't tried before, Beauty Bakery. So I can't wait to see that. Um, so now I have my Pat McGrath mini palettes. Um, this was the first release that she did with the when she did the smaller size versions of her larger eyeshadow palettes. So I got all three. Um, this is the Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze palette. So. Um, I really like this palette because it has some really nice neutral cooler shades here um, and her formula is just really great. Sorry Pippa's in the way. She wants to go outside but it's too cold to let her out <laughs> right now and she was just at the dog park so you don't need to go outside right now. Um, so I think you know rather than spend a lot of money on her larger palettes this is a good way to try her formula if you haven't yet and to just test out, you know, one of the smaller palettes that you're more drawn to for the shade range. Um, this is the Mothership Subversive La Vie and Rose. This was the one I was like super drawn to and wanted the most out of these three because I think the shades, the hot pink, the purple, the shimmery purple is gorgeous. I wore that um, in an eye look and I really like these select the selection here and think it's really uh just different from my collection and like the arrangement of the three of the six shades that she picked for this palette so this one is definitely a keeper and then the last one is the mothership sublime bronze ambition palette so i really like the packaging for this one with the fly on the lips there <laughs> and this one is kind of like your warm tone, brown, gold, champagne color palette. So this one, I don't even think I've even used yet. Yeah, they all look new still. So, yep, <laughs> gotta use my eyeshadows. They're just, I just feel like eyeshadow palettes are just so gorgeous and the way that they look all put together just makes me helpless. I just wanna buy them and collect them and have them sitting pretty in my collection. So. I know, I have a problem. So NYX came out with these eyeshadow palettes. There's three of them and I got all three because they were, well, they, at first they weren't that cheap for NYX. They were, um, I wanna say like $24, $25 each. I mean, of course I had like a sale coupon or something used on them, but, and I got all three, but then they later changed the price. It wasn't even like they discounted the price. They actually just changed the price to something like $12.99 or something. And I was just like, what the hell? Like, you either pick a price or you mark it 
on sale. And so I had to like kind of argue with Ulta about it and to get the price adjustment, which at first they definitely were not going to do. They were going to make me return the whole palette itself and reorder it to get that cheaper price, which I was going to do just based on the principle of it. But I spoke to some supervisor at customer service and they're like, oh yeah, I see, you know, your purchase and the price change and it wasn't that long ago that you purchased it. So we'll go ahead and, you know, I think they, they didn't give me a refund. They gave me like a gift card for the difference, which, you know, I was happy with. It's just, why are you changing the price suddenly? <laughs> anyway, this is the one in grind. Um, it's kind of a dupe for, uh, the Soap Culture palette, I think. So I think uh, these shades here remind me of Soap Culture, and it has these pretty shimmer shades here. So I haven't even used any of these palettes yet, and I got them, like, I want to say September. But, um, yeah, I definitely like how the NYX shadows wear and perform because for a drugstore brand, they are pretty good quality. So I definitely can't wait to try these palettes out. There's that one. This is like the cooler toned one called Steam, I believe. Yeah, so these have some cooler shades here. This nice purple and some blue and kind of lilac shades. So there's that one eventually. And then this one is Ignite. And I don't know if this is a dupe for anything, but I just like these shades too. So. I had to get all three of them and keep them all together. I like to, you know, do collections like that. This is the Marc Jacobs, uh, I don't think, the wild one. So it was the holiday palette that came out in 2018 for um, Christmas. No, not 2018, duh, 2017. Um, 2017 for Christmas. I got it really early on. This is when... I before I learned my lesson about makeup uh, and patiently waiting for products to get go on sale. So I got it when it was, you know, full price at $99, which is ridiculous for an eyeshadow palette. Um, and then I want to say by Christmas time, it was marked down. And of course, you have the Sephora sale and everything like that also going on in the fall. So I was just like, super annoyed with myself that I bought it full price. But I do really like this palette itself. I didn't get his first one that came out in 2016. But um, yeah, this one, I really like the shades here and I think the formula is really well, works really well. And so I do like this larger palette. I'm not that crazy about the zebra print. I think that's kind of ugly and don't really see how that's holiday. But anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> here is a By Terry palette. I don't even know what this one is magnet eyes oh yeah so you know by terry is a really nice luxury brand i really like their face products their eyeshadows i haven't been too crazy about i did declutter a smaller eyeshadow palette of theirs i had um i really like this kind of mustard green shade over here and some of these blues i don't really have in my collection um but i wasn't that impressed with their eyeshadow formula i feel like they're not that pigmented and kind of just blend together and blend away kind of um so I haven't even used this palette that much let me swatch them and see how I like it I mean it's still pretty yeah, I'm going to hold on to it and just give it another chance this year, and then we'll see. But yeah. I wouldn't call them buttery shades, but they definitely swatched okay, so I'll try again on my eyes and see how that goes. So that was this container here. Let's go on a little bit more. Um, oh, so these palettes. Oh, I forgot to include this with my Too Faced uh, metal um, tin palettes. But here's another one, the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Um, I got this when it came out. And, you know, the metallic shades are gorgeous and very pigmented. I use this for a get ready with me in... My, I think my Beautylish Lucky Bag rant video. So that was the first time I finally touched this palette and used it. Um, I don't 
know if some of these shades are changing color or not. It looks a little different in the pan. Um, but like I said, I haven't used it, so I'm not sure if it's just my imagination or what. I don't know if you can see that here in this pan here. It looks a little discolored at the top. Maybe a little bit on this one too. Maybe it's the oil in the in the powders that's changing, turning. I really hope not because I definitely have not used this enough to want to get rid of it for different formula. But the shades I used in my eye look felt fine and wore fine. So I'm just going to ignore that for now and hope that it's not going bad. Because who wants that? This is the Too Faced Tickled Peach little mini palette they released this fall. I think it's so adorable, of course, to go with the bigger peach palette. And I think they really did a good selection of the shades that they chose for these mini palettes. I think it's super pretty and a lot better quality than their, like, what was it? The mini chip palettes or white chocolate palettes. I don't know. I didn't get those, but because the shades just were boring to me. But they were not received very well I heard from other people um sorry this is their other mini palette the Too Faced Sugar Cookie and of course they smell so yummy and delicious and this palette is just another cutie that I had to get of course to go with its sister uh here is the Too Faced Fruity Juicy palette in Sparkling Pineapple I just love the packaging and what they did for this collection because I love fruit patterns and anything pineapple of course so I had to get this one um, I haven't tried this palette yet I heard it's not as good as the raspberry one but I don't care um, I just love the packaging so I had to get this one and I feel like some of these shades like here I wish it was a little bit more green um, themed in this palette I don't know I just feel like gold and brown and green would really represent a pineapple palette itself but you know can't have it all so I like this palette I like the way it looks so I will eventually try it and hopefully like how it turns out um let me just shift here Pippa you want to go outside hold on okay so this is my NARS um Provocateur palette that just released this holiday season. I think they killed it with the packaging and the studs and they had two eyeshadow palettes. This is the one I was kind of more drawn to. I really think this cool like shimmery dark gunmetal color is really different and this duochrome shade over here in the corner is uh, a little unique here in this palette and just something um, I thought would be different in my collection so I wanted to get this of course in this packaging this is the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette that just came out um, the packaging of course is pretty bulky but I was on the fence about whether to get this or not but I used Ulta points so it was you know free so if I just was like yeah I might as well get it if I have Ulta points and the shades here are pretty basic um, nothing like super unique. I'll see how these, I haven't worn it yet. Um, the glitter shades I heard can have fallout, but you know, of course you just use a glitter glue. I think this one here, Diamond Life is really cool. It has, you know, those pink and blue and green sparkle glitter pieces in it. And I just think it could make a really pretty sparkly look. And I think this would make, would have made a good New Year's Eve eye look as well. But New Year's has passed. Maybe next New Year's. Okay, these are my custom palettes that I've made. Um, so these are just a mishmash of single shades that I've put together in a palette. This is the ColourPop palette, but it's not all ColourPop singles. Um, I want to say it's probably a mix of ColourPop, Makeup Geek. Uh, I think I got some Looksies, and I don't even I don't even know other ones that I added in here. Um, Kind of did the arrangement as best as I could with these random singles. So I think it looks pretty nice. And I have to reach for it more. I'm so bad at using my custom palettes. I don't know why. I just reach for other palettes instead. Um, here is a Z palette with Sephora that I placed all my Makeup Forever 
eyeshadow singles in here. So this is when they released their new eyeshadow formula and I just wanted like all of the shades. They all look so pretty. So I bought a bunch of them and I had them in the smaller Makeup Forever palettes, but I would never reach for them or use them. So I figured if I put them all together in a Z palette, hopefully I will try and use it more. And then this is just another Z palette. Um, this is the dual sided Z palette I got in their last sale here and put some more shades in here. So just kind of a random mix of eyeshadows, a lot of metallic shimmer shades. I really go for those a lot, um, more than matte. And then this side here has a few larger pans. I think these are Juvia's Place and Nabla Cosmetics and I don't even know what that random one is. Maybe, I think actually some of these are Makeup Forever too because they used to have the circle pans before they re uh, changed it to the square ones now. This Tarte palette, I got it when I first started getting into makeup a few years ago and I really like the packaging. It reminds me of a Pucci, Emilio Pucci print, um, but the palette itself is falling apart. Yeah, the glue is coming undone. So I've hardly used this. I really think, um, you know, I really like the mattes and the shimmer shades. I really hardly have used this. Let me... Let me try some because I haven't even touched the shade here in Seascape and that one looks beautiful. See how these are. Kind of looks dry. That one, let's do Venus over here. And let's do On the Monet. You know, they feel like they're getting dry. Oh, that one's still pretty. Yeah, okay. Hmm. They look so good swatched. Why do they do this to us? They look so good, but I really don't reach for it. I don't think I've touched it since I bought it. I might have used it a few times back then. And that was, like I said, two or three years ago now. So, and the packaging, like the glue. See, oh, yeah, see, I just unglued that. Unglued it right to the cardboard. So, hmm. It's so hard to open. What is going on? Yep, unglued. Falling apart. I wonder if anybody would even buy it knowing that this packaging is a disaster. Hmm. Yep, the mirror just unglued itself right now. I did that to myself. Oh well. You could always hot glue it back on. It didn't break, I guess. But... Yeah, I'm going to try and see if anybody will buy it. I don't know. We'll see since it's falling apart. Okay, let's do a few more before I break this up into section two. <laughs> okay, this is my ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette. I think this was, what, last year's holiday? One of their holiday palettes. Of course, they release like five or six at a time. Um, I really like this palette. Um... It was like my second favorite after the Dream Street palette with Kathleen Lights, I think. So this one is really pretty. You get so many shades in these larger palettes that they give you. Um, even though the pans are a little small, but I think it's a really nice palette. And like I said, one of my top five ColourPop palettes. <laughs> Here is my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. It was the first eyeshadow palette I bought by Huda Beauty. I never got the Rose Gold palette and I did not get the Rose Gold Remastered palette, but this one I wanted to try out. Um, I definitely have used it and liked it and I tried to remember to try and use it more often, but you know, you just get waylaid by all the new palettes that are coming out. Sorry, my dog is running in the background. I just don't like this glitter. And pressed glitter shades are just junk in my opinion. <laughs> um, you know, we'll see how the Too Faced ones perform in the Pretty Rich palette. But other than that, I like everything else. I really like Twilight. It's this beautiful shimmer purple duochrome and uh, retrograde. Those are probably two of my favorites. 
in this palette itself. So I do think it's a nice palette and we'll try that some more. This is the Ciate Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. It came in a set last year for the holidays. Um, I have to use this more too, of course. That is just going to be the theme of this video. Palettes I need to pick up and use again. Um, so I really like the, you know, shades in this palette. I think it's a little bit kind of disjointed, um, but I do like the kind of two greens that there at the bottom, these kind of uh, darker cranberry plummy shades over there, a pop of uh, red here. So I do like this palette and I thought the quality was pretty decent for Ciate, so I am going to keep that. These are new to my collection, the Nabla um, Cosmetics Soul Blooming Eyeshadow Palette. So when they were having their Black Friday sale, I finally bit the bullet and ordered a couple of their palettes and their eyeshadow singles because I didn't want to pay the shipping before and they were having a pretty decent sale now on these palettes itself. So I haven't used these yet, um, but these are really pretty and I've heard good reviews about this brand. So I'm excited to try this new indie brand and I just think, look at that packaging. It's so cute and pretty with the flowers and ugh, love that. And I got this one of theirs, Dreamy palette, which I think was the first one they released. They also have Poison Garden, but I just wasn't into those shades. So I just stuck with these two. Um, yeah, so that's nice purple tones, some transition shades. So like I said, I can't wait to use this brand for the first time. Uh, the Vault, Jaclyn Hill, Morphe. I really was just kind of into a couple of these when I saw them. I haven't even used them yet, so I don't know. I've heard so many mixed reviews. Some like it, some don't. I have her larger palette, which I'll show later, but um, yeah, just I just decided to get the whole vault. Um, I really liked this one, which is the Armed and Gorgeous selection because of the kind of camouflage warm tones with the pop of green. Um, so I really wanted that one and I really wanted this one here, Dark Magic. So these dark matte shades, that green. Um, yeah, the mattes, I don't know how those would prefer, perform. So those were the two I really wanted, but then it just kind of was more cost effective to get the vault rather than buy two <laughs> single palettes there. So I got the vault and this is Ring the Alarm. Nothing, you know, earth shattering, just some more warm neutral shades. And this one is Bling Boss. This one is okay. You know, purple toned palette. So I will try these and if I don't like them, then I probably will just sell the vault. But like I said, I haven't tried them yet. And I got it during, I think when I don't know if it was the first release, the second release. I don't know whatever controversy there was going on about the formula and being retested and tried again in the factory. Who knows? I got it during the second release, I think, and it was supposed to be the better formula, but we'll see. This is the Too Faced, also Fruity Juicy, Tutti Fruity, whatever yeah, Tutti Fruity collection. Um, this is the Razzle Dazzle Berry eyeshadow palette. So like I said, I heard people like this one more than the pineapple one. And I just decided to get this later after the collection released from Ulta because they're having like extra points on Too Faced or something. And I was like, well, let me get this palette too because it's super cute. And it's supposed to perform better than the pineapple. And it smells super delicious, just like berries. So I haven't tried that yet. Here is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. Um, BH Cosmetics just, you know, is a really good affordable alternative to high-end brands. And this palette has so many fun colors. I just decided to add this to my collection. Um, I have not used it. But, oh, <laughs> I was like, this one looks touched though, and I haven't even used it, but I forgot I swatched it during one of my Ulta video, uh, haul videos, so I was just like, at first really disgusted that they sent me a used palette, but I did swatch that shade, I swatched neon, and I swatched 
carnival. Okay. <laughs> I was going crazy there for a second. Like, gross. I need to return this. But yeah, BH Cosmetics is great. Here is this year's um, ColourPop Holiday Palette Chasing Rainbows. I think the packaging is so pretty. Um, I wasn't going to get this palette at first. It is very similar to the My Little Pony palette, which I already have. But, you know, I was just like, I'll probably get it eventually. Just get it. So, yeah, I got the Chasing Rainbows palette. Super cute course and let me just do a few more before this video gets too much longer here is the Maybelline soda pop palette this is the first kind of Maybelline palette I've purchased I decided not to get their lemonade palette because I heard this one actually is a little bit better in quality and pigment so I decided to get this from Ulta and we'll try this as a drugstore alternative this is the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette. They released a few of these um, in different shades. This one is Sugar High. So I believe it's supposed to be like a matte row, a satin row, and then a metallic foil row of um, similar colors. So you could just make a nice easy eye look. I haven't even touched this yet, but I am going to keep this because I do really want to play with those shades. This is the Tarte very treasure palette. I really think the packaging is super cute, but I really didn't use this palette like at all. Yeah. I don't really like the layout that they did for this palette. Some pans are bigger, some are smaller and they all just kind of look similar. Like, like on camera. Yeah. They look, some of the shades look exactly the same. Um, I think I touched the center one here and that might've been it. Maybe this one down here, but yeah, they all kind of look the same. I actually am going to declutter that. I found I really am decluttering a lot of like older Tarte palettes. I don't know what I was thinking back then. I was just buying everything Tarte came out with and don't really know why because now I'm decluttering them. Uh, this is the new Huda Beauty new nude palette. Um, I just featured this in my, I don't know, Sephora haul, makeup haul, something, one of those videos. Um, I was on the fence about this palette. I said I probably was not going to get this palette because I hate, like I said, the pressed glitter, chunky crap pans there. And then they came out with a concealer pan and I was like, what is the point of that? I wouldn't use that. I have no use for that. But I changed my mind because when I was in Sephora, I swatched these gorgeous crushed pearl shades that are a new formula and this shade Kinky, which is like just so stunning. I don't want to swatch it yet because I haven't even used this one yet. And I just love how pretty and new it looks. But I really, um, maybe we'll do a get ready with me or something with this palette. Even though everybody already filmed those kind of videos <laughs> when this first released. But I figured these five shades, and the mattes are really pretty too, outweigh the three pans that I think would be stupid and didn't need in that palette. So I will be keeping that. This is the NARS Man Ray uh, eyeshadow palette in glass tears. So the Man Ray collection was really cool with the, um, they did like a lip print highlighter and uh, lippy crowns and everything and some eyeshadow palettes. I really wanted the larger, Pippa, way to sit right in the middle of my camera. I really wanted the larger eyeshadow palette they released with this collection. Um, but I think it was just like a UK exclusive or something, which was really such a bummer. And I saw on eBay and stuff, but I didn't want to pay the price for the jacked up prices for that on eBay. But I got this one here. And I think these shades are just kind of my tone, jewel tone, nice shades here. Um, so I think, yeah, this is a palette where the clasp doesn't work, doesn't close. Like... How annoying is that? Come on, NARS. You can't freaking fix it. So yeah, you have to really press to make sure it stays, which is annoying because it really doesn't stay shut. So I'm going to end the video here with Pippa right in the way and film part two. So stay tuned for the second video. I really hope I don't need a part three. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long going through these, but 
yeah, I still have a lot to go through. So maybe there will be a part three. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. But thanks so much for watching, you guys. Like I said, out of that pile, I'm only getting rid of three. So it is not a declutter video. It's just my eyeshadow palette collection video. And let's go on to part two. Thanks. Bye.